how to set up Facebook Pixel to my Shopify store. So first, you have to log in to your Shopify. Make sure that this is your account. Now you have to scroll down here and then you have to look for all apps. And then after that, you have to scroll down again and look for Shopify store. Tap this one. It will take you directly to the Shopify store where you can search for an application. This time, you have to look for Facebook. Tap the second option. And then you have to look for Facebook and Instagram, which is this one right here. Click this. Now, you can tap install or you can also read the following instruction and information. And once done, then all you have to do is click or tap install. This is what it looks like. Read again the instruction right here and then after that, go and tap the install button. Wait for a few seconds and then here, read the following information. Connect the Facebook account you use for your business. Tap on connect account. Wait for a couple of seconds again. Now log in your Facebook email and password and then confirm. Read the following instruction. Tap on allow. Wait for a couple of seconds again and after that you should see this page right here when you can now get started. So drive more sales with advantage plus catalog ads. Tap on get started and this is where you're going to set up ads on Facebook and Instagram. So done with connecting our Facebook account, let's proceed to business portfolio. So if you haven't created one, then what you're going to do here is you have to tap on the create new button. Tap this one right here and then you should see the following. So below you will have your option for conservative, enhance, and maximum. So for conservative here in Shopify, it can help you track fewer events for basic performance and more privacy. For enhance, it can help you track more user interactions for better analytics and marketing. For maximum, it can help you track the most data possible for advanced optimization and targeting. So for the sake of our tutorial or this tutorial, let's tap first the conservative. Tap this one right here. After that, you can read more or view information. And then once you're done with this, then what you're going to do here is tap on the save button to proceed. Now, once done viewing details, you can tap on save. Wait for a couple of seconds. And then here you have to refresh. Once you tap refresh, then you should see this terms and conditions and tap on the box to agree. And then click submit for review. You have to wait again for a couple of seconds. And then once you're done, then you will be landed to another page where all you have to do here is to wait till you see this next steps for catalog. Now, if you go to the right side, you will see here to start selling and marketing on Facebook. You need to set product status as active and select the Facebook sales channel. So first, we have to go to our product. And you must have your existing product here. So tap on products, select for a specific product, for example, this one. And then what you're going to do next is you have to tap on the manage option. Click manage right here. Now what you're going to do is you have to make sure that you have checked or select the following. Online store, point of sale, Facebook, and Instagram. After that, tap on done. Now, after this, you have to go to your Facebook Meta Business Suite, particularly to your Meta Business Info settings. And then make sure that you see this one, Shopify account or number. And now you have to scroll down, go to data sources and look for pixels, tap on pixels. Now you just have to wait as it is loading. So you have to make sure that it should be the same number and ID with your Shopify. So let's go back to your Shopify, scroll down, look for settings, tap this one. And then here what you're going to do next is you have to look for apps and sales. Now next is go and tap Facebook and Instagram. Now here you have to tap on 
open sales and channel click this one and then it will take you back now this time you have to go to settings and you have to make sure that Shopify pixel number and Shopify ID should be the same with your Facebook pixel information okay so you have to recheck now it's the same okay so as you can see it's the same with the last number here now once it's confirmed that all you have to do is tap on open in events manager and then here you will see all the activities right now you can see this one because i haven't done any activity yet on my shopify so let's go back to my shopify particularly go to your shopify store let's just say once you buy your product and added an item to their shopify card or to their card and then tap on proceed and then they already purchased this one but i cannot do that for the meantime but i just want to show you if there are any activity here on your shopify store you should see that in the events manager on your facebook business suite so as you can see i have done something here though i haven't proceeded with the checkout i want to go back to my facebook pixel data sources in the event manager and i'm going to refresh and you will see it's totally different so if someone purchase an item in your shopify store you should see it right here or any activity on your shopify it will reflect that on your facebook events manager thank you for watching and see you again in our next video tutorials